Hey y'all, welcome to Practical Things. I'm Patrice and we are still in the Christmas spirit around here. So today we are going to be looking at some stockings and Christmas hats that I got from Heat Transfer Warehouse. All right, y'all, so it is still my favorite time of the year and I am milking every single second of it. So we are going to be looking at these items that Heat Transfer Warehouse sent to me for Christmas. And we are going to see which ones we are going to use and which ones we may save for later. So Heat Transfer Warehouse sent me a few stockings and these are on their website. So this has red fur at the top and then it has a silver bottom. It's like silver, very sparkly, looks glittery. And they also sent me a red and pink one. So I'm feeling like we can sub onto the bottom part and can also probably sub onto this red but something dark like you'll need a black ink on here so we are definitely going to see about that and y'all i love buffalo plaid and look what they sent me not one stocking with buffalo plaid but two stockings with buffalo plaid and so i cannot wait to try these these are linen material. If you saw the other Christmas items that I sublimated from Heat Transfer Warehouse, you will know that this linen subs beautifully. I subbed a Christmas sack, and that Christmas sack is gorgeous. So they sent this, and so of course, this, I wouldn't necessarily try to sub onto that, but you could possibly put some HTV on top. And then this bottom part, this is what can be subbed. So we want to see how this is going to look. And I think I'm gonna test one of these out. Not sure which one. And then y'all, they sent me these Christmas hats. And so these match the stockings. So I think I am going to sub onto, you know what? I was gonna do like a matching set, but I think I'm gonna sub onto one pink and one silver iridescent glittery white item. And both of these, you probably, you can't see it really good here, but both of these have like sparkles in them. I'm trying to get it so you can kind of see it a little bit better. So that is what we're gonna do. So that we can see how they both sub, we'll pick a different color. So I'll probably do the pink and red hat and test this out and y'all this is my favorite so we are going to test these three items out to see how they look and if you are interested in any of these items a link to heat transfer warehouse is listed in the description and it will take you to these stockings in case you are interested their shipping is super super quick so if you place an order you can expect to receive it very very timely as christmas is quickly approaching all right so let's get started with subbing these items all right, guys, so now we are going to get ready and sub onto the stocking, and you can get a closer look at what that material looks like. So we are going to sub onto the stocking. We are not going to sub onto the top part of the stocking. It is pretty fluffy and thick. A black might be fine, but we are just going to sub onto the bottom part and I'm actually going to turn it upside down because I'm not really sure if this is going to cause a pressure issue so I'm just gonna let this hang over the heat press you all know I need to make sure that I put it the correct way right so we have this here I am just going to tape it down you can put other things onto your stockings you can even put characters and things like that. I'm just putting a monogram on this one. 
this is going to be for Michaela. And if you've seen other videos that I have, y'all know that I am always making something for Michaela. All right, let's see how this turned out. And let's see, it looks like this turned out pretty good. And I am just going to take this off. And that ink goes well onto the stocking. It looks really, really good. I don't even know if you guys can really tell how sparkly it looks, but I love that sparkle. So I'm pretty happy with this. And you just fluff this back up. So next we are going to get ready and sub onto this stocking and I love this stocking. And this part, you can put HTV on it and sub onto this part. Also, I see the inside, I think you can sub onto this and maybe put like a cute uh, saying or you may wanna put a message on there, it's up to you. But we are just going to sub onto the linen part for now. Today we are using an Epson Eco Tank 15,000 along with Dynamic Ink for these projects. And also we are pressing everything at 375 degrees for 45 seconds. All right, and so we are done with pressing the stocking and we are going to see how it turned out. And it looks like it turned out pretty good. Very, very cute. It matches perfectly. All right, guys, so next we are going to sub onto this hat. And what we're going to do is we're actually going to sub the furry part first, and then I'm going to flip it and sub the top part of the hat, only because this furry part may cause a pressure issue for the part that we want to sub onto the hat. And as you guys can see, this is shiny material also. Okay, it's shiny. It has like some sparkle to it. So we are going to sub this part first. And here I'm just putting a name and I'm doing that so that you can see how putting a name will look onto the furry part of this hat. Let's see. And how did this turn out? Okay. So it looks like it turned out good. So we are going to test out the fluff factor in a few minutes. And y'all, this is a lot of fluff. So it is probably not going to fluff back exactly how we like it, but we're going to see. Before we do that, we're going to sub onto the pink part. Let me make sure I turn it the right way. I almost had it going the wrong way, y'all. All right, so right here, we're gonna put that there. And this puffy part may cause an issue too. So let's see. All right, let's see. And it looks like that little pom-pom at the top did not do so well. Yeah, yeah no. So, no, don't be like me and put the little pom-pom underneath the press. I'm going to have to 
I kind of knew that was going to happen, huh? Duh, the keys. So, yeah, don't do that. I'm going to have to put another pom-pom here, but it's all good. All right, so let's look and see how this subbed. All right, looks very, very good. And this is going to match a shirt that says the same thing. And I am giving it to one of my coworkers. But let's see the fluff factor, okay? So here we go. And that black looks so good on there. But let's see. So with it going all over the place. So can you still tell what it says? You can. And then when it's brushed down. Not too bad. That looks bad. All right, y'all. So we are all done with subbing onto these stockings and hats from Heat Transfer Warehouse. And everything subbed beautifully. They have these items on their website. If you buy multiple of the hats or the stockings, I think if you buy four, you get them for like four for 20 as opposed to buying one for about $9. So you definitely want to check them out. But let's look at these items because y'all, can y'all believe that hat? So the hat subs beautifully. I'm very happy with how that hat turned out. The colors look good. This black looks really good on this fur. The fur, if you kind of fluff it up a bit, you'll see like a little bit of like the fur not really being able to tell exactly what it says, but once you brush it back down, it's perfect, okay? And so it subs very, very nicely. I did want to show you all, so I have a shirt. This is actually going to be a gift for one of my coworkers, and the shirt says the same thing that the top of the hat says. So hopefully she will like it. Next. We had this stocking, and this is my stocking, y'all. I think I'm going to put some HTV at the top with my name or something on it, but it came out beautifully. I absolutely love buffalo plaid, and so I can't wait to hang this up as some decoration around the house. And then we had this stocking, and this stocking subbed beautifully also um, I didn't put anything at the top I think I'm gonna leave it just like this and just have the monogram right there in the center but I think that that looks really really nice so all of these designs were from design bundles if you are interested I have a link listed below all right y'all so let me know which one you like the best did you like our stocking with the monogram on it did you like our buffalo plaid stocking which is actually my favorite or did you like the hat that I charred the top off of so now you guys know do not put the top of the hat underneath your heat press because it will burn it now if you do if you have another pom-pom that can go on the top then that's perfectly fine you can you can do it but if not you don't want to cinch it off all right so if you enjoyed this video please be sure to give it a thumbs up also make sure to subscribe to this channel if you are not subscribed in addition heat transfer warehouses link will be listed below in the description if you would like to order any of these christmas sublimation links all right but that's going to be it for today y'all thank you all so much for watching until next time Thank you.